So I've got exciting news. PHP Storm 2022.2 is here. In it, we introduce support for Mockery, the popular mock object framework, as well as support for Rector, the automation tool for PHP upgrades. We made lots of improvements to generics, and we made it so that failing test assertions are highlighted. We also added several quality of life improvements across the IDE, including to our debugger and to our HTTP client. I hope you're as excited as I am, because there's quite a lot more. Let's take a look. Let's start with Mockery, the framework that allows you to mock objects when testing. PHP SOM now has auto-completion support for most Mockery functionality, as well as some useful inspections that help improve your workflow. We support both class names and manually defined strings, interface mocking, and quite a lot more. Next, we have Rector support. Now, Rector is this automation tool for managing upgrades between PHP versions and doing bulk refactorings. You can now run Rector from within PHP Storm, and PHP Storm will take you through the process of changing your code base step by step. And along the way, you will see PHP Storm's diff view being used. A nice improvement, I would say. Now, setting up Rector in PHP Storm is easy. You can run it from any file or folder as long as Rector is installed in your project. And on top of that, you can modify Rector's configuration by choosing Edit Configurations, either from the Run menu or from the Actions menu. Now, besides these two integrations, we also have a bunch of quality of life improvements in this release. Uh, first up, we made changes to our debugger window so that relevant information is closer and more readily available. Uh, in the variables pane, this will now always be shown on top. And we also show the contents of arrays. And when an object has a toString method, we will show the textual representation of that object as well. Next, we highlight failed test assertions and provide an intention to rerun the test. Just press Alt-Enter on a failed assertion line to quickly rerun it. Now, this next one might not seem like much, but I think many people will like it. You can now use your keyboard to change the font size in PHP Storm's editor across all tabs. And there's a useful reset button as well. Another quality of life improvement is that we introduce support for clickable URLs in PHP, JSON, YAML, and properties files. You will now see URLs highlighted, and you can click them while holding Command or Control to open them in a browser window. Next up, you can now create enums straight from the Create Class dialog. And remember that you can change the generated files template just as with any template in the file and code template settings. One thing to keep in mind is that the enum option will only appear when your project is using PHP 8.1 or higher. What's more, uh, we made significant improvements to how runtimes and quality tools are configured. Let's take a look. You can now specify which PHP binary should be used for individual runtimes. And on top of that, you can select a different runtime for individual quality tools and Xdebug will be disabled by default when running them. We also changed the name of the default local PHP runtime to System PHP just to make it a little more clear. It was previously called local, and that was a bit confusing. Now, as with every release, uh, there are a bunch of new inspections as well. Uh, PHP Storm will detect redundant is set calls that can be combined into one. We will suggest using in array and array key exists to clean up code. And we also added an inspection that suggests adding var and param annotation names when dog blocks are ambiguous. Now, there are more inspections. You can check the description after this video for the full list. Finally, we've again improved support for generics. We now support minimum and maximum values for integers, and we have improved support for iterables and collection classes. We can infer types from closures and have made several other improvements. Now, of course, there is much more to this release. For this video, I only wanted to highlight some of the most prominent changes. So definitely check out that link to the blog post in the description and maybe leave a like and comment as well. Uh, we would appreciate that. Thanks for watching. Enjoy PHP Storm.